What is going on guys, it's Mr. RHD and welcome here back to Forza 6 for Stream Tunes. Again, if you guys are new or you don't know, this is a series where if I've made a car on stream um, throughout the week, I'll just quickly go over it, uh, give you about a minute of drifting and then show the tune for it. Um, just so you guys don't feel left out. So this car, these cars, two of these cars were uh, made by request by people in, this, in the stream chat. Because uh, they donated, and I was like, okay, well, if you guys want to donate, at least I can do is make a car of your request. So this was Master Swift's uh, choice, which was a Scion TC, and not quite sure about the year. going to guess 2013. Um, it's got a VQ in it, because he wanted a V8. There is no V8, so there's a VQ. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, stop wasting time, because we don't have much time. Um, fast, fast, gotta go fast. Um, pretty goddamn good car. This is probably the best car out of the three I'm about to show you. Um... Front wheel drive to rear wheel drive swaps usually don't go well in terms of feeling. Uh, they usually end up feeling skittish or whatever. This car, it did at first, and then it was easily tuned out. Um, you know, this, if you guys um, have ever wanted a TC, uh, I know they, they've been pretty bunk in other games. Pretty goddamn good in this game. Uh, very, very smooth. The only thing that I don't like is the engine itself, is the VQ. Um, I am going to try building it with the four banger uh, at another time just to make a Frederick Osbo style replica build thing. Um, but the VQ was definitely a huge letdown for me here. Uh, didn't and it, I felt like it didn't have power in the middle of the rev range, if that makes sense. It had torque down low where I wanted it. It had power right up high, lots of power right up high. But right there in the middle, there was a... Um, there wasn't... Is what I wanted. Uh, I, f I ended up bogging down a little bit, which, you know, is easily uh, fixable as long as you just kind of keep pay attention to what gear you're in. You know, if you know you're coming to a slower corner, you see your RPM starting to drop, just drop it down in a second, and usually it won't be that much of a problem. But it is a little bit cumbersome uh, um, over the course of a full game. But, uh, you know, the car is handling very, very well balanced and very, very smooth. Um, I was very shocked. I didn't think this car was going to be any semblance of good and it ended up being one of my personal favorites of the match or not the match but of the stream so uh thank you master swift again you don't have to donate for me to make cars that you guys suggest it's just on stream and i'm like holy shit you know people are donating i just have to do something to, to give back um but yeah this was master swift's car this is when he picked this is the tune that nothing really out of the ordinary for the tune i did supercharge it because i don't hate myself and didn't want to turbo the engine as well uh i also put cams in it which might have something to do with there not being as much power as i want at the in the middle of the rev range but you know all around it is a good car and it's quite a lot of fun and i did enjoy driving it and i still enjoy driving it even when i was uh you know putting it back up for this video um but yeah that is master swift's car and the next one, uh, if we don't take eight years for going through <laughs> the tune here, um, the next one is something I was a little bit skeptical on building, but I'm really glad I did. This one, again, from donation, thank you very much, uh, Actual Badger on Twitch. Uh, that was This was his suggestion. Uh, it's not up yet. It's not up yet. It's not up yet. It's not up. There you go. Uh, <laughs> transition was a little bad. But uh, this is a 99, I think, Viper GTS ACR. Um, so, uh, what's good about this car? It's fast. It's 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 so fast. It's it's really fast. Like, um, it's got a lot of rear grip, of course. 335s in the back. That's what Vipers are known for. But here's the trade-off, and here's the downside, and here's the poopy part. Uh, very, very skittish. Um, I know I've said that about a couple of cars, but I mean, I'm starting to work on my tuning to be able to get that feeling out of the car. This was just skittish. And I mean, that's just because of the of the uh, huge rear tires in the back. You know, if you have that sort of imbalance, that'll happen. Um, that And the Viper just has so much mechanical grip as it is. Um, so it's very, very grippy and very quick, but, you know, you're not going to be able to... to hang it out like you do your other cars like your like your 240s and your s13s and whatnot um in before somebody yells at me for calling a 240 and s13 even though they're the same thing i know it's just an example don't get mad at me okay but uh yeah race boy wanted me, oh, not race boy why did i say race boy actual badger wanted me to paint this black have the number 71 on it uh if you see that anywhere in the video i don't think you do in this past but um uh, he just it's his racing number that's what he wanted again you know the guy guy gave me some money so I couldn't really complain um, going into the setup here I think um, from here on out I'm just gonna skip it when everything's race um, just to make these a little bit faster so you can show you guys a bit more drifting see those big old rear rear tires um, 
I ended up going with sports tire or street tires, which I think was the good decision. I think, you know, with how much grip this car has as well, uh, you could go stock tires if you want to go that route. I don't think it'll hurt. Um, I don't think, you know, it, it really would depend on what you're using the car for. If you're using it for like super high speed stuff, you definitely want some, some, some tire grip. Uh, you don't want to have to rely just on, uh, just on, um, just on your wits alone. Uh, that was a kind of a pun, not really, but, uh, you know, really nothing out of the ordinary with this, with tune comes, comes to builds. Yeah, for sure. This will be the last time, uh, I, I, br I bring you guys through this whole screen. I'll just go through the engine parts, the wheels and tires, and then the, uh, the conversions, if there is any. Um, but yeah, I kept the V10 in here. The V10 was all right. I didn't mind it. Um, you know, it wasn't a excellent engine, but it wasn't, I didn't really have anything bad to say about it. I just, it, eh. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Maybe maybe you guys are just going to yell at me and say, no, the V10's great, and I'm just stupid. But, you know, you never know. Um, drop the rear tire pressure too much. Um, tried not to do that, uh, just so it wouldn't get super grippy. But it is a thing that kind of habit I've been getting into is just getting lo running lower rear pressures. Uh, it's been fun, but I don't... I think that's something I have to get out of, just because it's going to make everything I drive feel like it's on glue, or it's driving in glue. Lastly, uh, this one I just built because I was bored. Um, is a RX-7 FD. Um, again, a lot of you might be screaming, oh man, why won't you save this for a video, Arrow? You're a big dumb doo-doo head. But um, this, I originally built it with the four-rotor. Ended up not liking it that much. The four-rotor's power just doesn't deliver uh, in a way that I like. Also, ignore this uh, gameplay here if it's crappy. Uh, Rio Mountain is, is not awful, but it's got so many bumps and stuff, and there was too many people in this lobby that it was pretty hard to get a clean lap in. Anywho, um... This car is great. I mean, it has a 305s in the rear, which shocked me when I saw it. Um, you, I took out the four rotor. If you can work with the four rotor, go ahead, be my guest. Thrill me. I don't really care. Um, the only issue I had with the four rotor is that its power wasn't linear enough for me. You know, I'd be like, bleep, and then, like, I mean, that comes with the territory of a rotor, but it was just too much of like a plateau I guess like it didn't come on smoothly enough for me uh, and if I'm gonna make it with the V8 I might as well save that for a video because you know V8 everything right um, so this just has a standard uh, twin rotor I believe engine in it before somebody stabs me because I'm wrong uh, I think it's a two rotor I swept I remember I swapped a three rotor into it all the time in uh, in uh, Forza 2 or 3 I believe but um, yeah you know there's nothing wrong with this there's nothing wrong with this car. I mean, like, I don't know what you guys are expecting me to say. Um, it's a, it's an RX-7, you know what I mean? If you can get used to the engine, then this thing is probably going to be one of the best handling cars uh, that you can get in terms of Japanese stuff. RX-7 has always been that way, where, I mean, like, it rewards people that uh, that want to sit, uh, want to grin through the, uh, the rotariness of it, because it is a really good handling car. Um very smooth very consistent very precise and a hell of a lot of fun to drive the only thing that sucks is the rotary but uh if you drop the v8 in it that adds like 200 pounds ish i think something like that and you know that's no bueno that's no fun we don't want that you know i'm gonna do it one day eventually but uh you know this car felt just fine it didn't feel like anything that i'm gonna use on a frequent basis but if you're in a lobby with a bunch of friends and you're using a car like let's say you guys know i use my falcon a lot this might be something that i, I might pull out to change it up and I won't feel too uh too alienated with it definitely a lot of fun to rev the car out though keep it up uh bang in the limiter but it wasn't as torqueless as I thought it was going to be you know it is a rotary so it does have all of its power up top but it that never said oh man I really wish I had more power in this car or I wish there was more torque I never had that problem um but yeah super fun if you guys don't already follow me on Twitch, please follow me on Twitch, Mr. Air HD. Thank you very, very much. Hopefully, you guys don't miss streams this week. And yeah, thank you to those who donated, Mr. Sw or Master Swift and Actual Badger. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I also have a Facebook and a Twitter. For those links, be sure to check out the description box below.